Distinguished President, Your Excellencies, colleagues and friends, it is an honor to address you today. <clears throat> First, <clears throat> I'm sorry. First, on behalf of the UN Human Rights Office, allow me to extend our warmest welcome to Under Secretary General Volker Turk, whose appointment as the next United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights was approved by the UN General Assembly on Thursday, 8 September. His leadership and commitment to champion, championing human rights will be a real asset in the defense of the rights of everyone, everywhere. In the Papua region, Papua and West Papua provinces of Indonesia, we have reports of intensified violence, including clashes between the Indonesian security forces and armed groups, resulting in unknown numbers of civilian casualties and fatalities and internal displacement. I am shocked by recent reports of the dismembered bodies of four indigenous Papuan civilians found outside Timika in West Papua province on 22 August. I note the government's initial efforts to investigate, including the arrest of at least six military personnel, and urge a thorough, impartial, and independent investigation holding those responsible to account. In Iraq, people continue to suffer consequences of political deadlock. Amidst economic challenges, a shrinking space for freedom of expression, and the severe impact of climate change. Tensions culminated in violence at the end of August, resulting in over 34 people dead and nearly 300 injured. I call upon all relevant actors in Iraq to prevent violence and ensure the participation of all groups, in particular women and civil society, in national dialogue processes.